Um, I must I must say um, that my first meeting of uh, Aziz Pahad, I was writing a, a biography of Monty Naika with Ghulam Bayed, uh, a very great leader of the Natal Indian Congress. And there's a photograph of him watching a soccer game, probably the mid 1950s, uh, where Yusuf Dado was playing. And uh, it's, it, I, I watched that, I looked at the photograph a number of times because if you look at the book, uh, if you look at the photographs of South African history, uh, Aziz was there. And, uh, and if you have to write a history uh, of South Africa uh, post 1950, then uh, his story uh, becomes a story you need to contend with. And uh, the way it's written, uh, I've, been, I've been writing now, thinking about biographies a lot. Um, there are actually a lot of biographies written uh, by people who are insiders in the movement. But it's about their bodies, their egos, their psychologies. And if you read this biography, it's really about a movement. It's about a struggle. It's about other people. And I think that's the beauty uh, of the ability to draw in a sense of structure and agency and a sense of the tempo of the time um, and, and not have to place yourself at the center. Uh, and I think it's instructive to all of us. But in, in posing questions, uh, a question to Aziz, I, you know, I was brought up as a Catholic, so I just want to confess. Uh, you know, we confess crimes that we're not going to, we don't, we're going to commit in the future, maybe. That's how we are brought up. Uh, so I was there in the Caucasus. I hated the Mbeki regime. I thought this was a 1996 class project. Uh, they were in the hands of neoliberalism. They were a counter-revolutionary force. And the Polokwane will, will, will mean a, a Damascus turn and where a radical economic policy will be implemented and democracy will flower. Of course I was wrong because as you know about the Damascus turn, when Saul was on his way to Damascus, he fell off his horse but there was a moment in which the light blinded him and we were blinded by the light. Little did I know that the SACP was going to continue the policies of gear, the class project, and the NDP was basically plagiarized from gear. So let me put that straight forward to you. You know, but we all make our mistakes in life and we confess them and we move on. Now, Aziz, were you wrong? Were you wrong in... Uh, in, 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 in be part of a team that uh, instituted an economic policy, if foreign policy is economic policy, in which we lowered the tariff barriers faster than the World Trade Organization and decimated our clothing and leather industries and sent millions of people into unemployment? Were you wrong in making and reaching out a hand to imperialism and making common cause? only to decimate our own economy by agreeing to the lowering of exchange controls, hoping that foreign investment would come in only for our big capital to leave the country and leave us even more poverty-stricken. Were you wrong, like I was wrong at Paulo Kwane? <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> having said that and be critical, I must say, I like your 10 lines of Operation Vula. Because if you read Mac Malaga's Shades of difference, you think Operation Vula was the be and the end all of the revolution. I'm glad you left it in dead life because it wasn't. It was just a cowboy adventure experience, <laughs> and, and which is written up. But that's the good thing about South Africa, whereas many countries have one history, we already have two and three and four histories that contend, and our students can read many histories in South Africa and not one history. But here's my main critique of the book Can I write a book? on Oscar Pistorius and Riva Stienka and end the book that Oscar has picked up his gun and he's walking towards the door and I stop there and don't say what happened <laughs> after he shot the bullets can I write a book where Armstrong went to the moon and he lived there for 20 years but I don't write about the 20 years in which he lived on the moon is not the time has come where a postscript of South Africa can't end in 1998 and that people like you have given your blood 
who are the veterans of struggle, whose blood runs through all your veins, who cannot be accused of being CIA agents, cockroaches in the, in the pay of Western imperialists and mining companies, is it not time to write the real postscript of South Africa? The University of Johannesburg. Rethink. Reinvent.